Oh my goodness, you're here. You caught the rerun. Congratulations. I'm so glad that you are here with me tonight, today, this afternoon, this morning, during this, <laughs> during this stream, during this video, because yeah, we're going to talk about one of the questions I get asked most often is why a moose? Like, it kind of reminds me of a, an old shtick that was done by the Marx Brothers. It was why a duck? And um, it was actually, it was, it's a very funny little piece done between uh, Groucho and Chico Marx. And it's actually quite funny if you want to look it up. It's why a duck. And uh, that has nothing to do with why a moose. It doesn't. But I can tell you that uh, why a duck is actually funny because it's um, it's all a, a misunderstanding on the word uh, why a duck. But in my case, I do get asked this a lot. So let's be interactive here. And, and we can uh, we can talk. We can ask questions here. Uh, well, obviously, if you're watching in, in the rerun, let me know because you weren't able to ask the question when I was here live. But uh, let me know where you're watching from. Just drop me a note. Tell me uh, where it's at. Uh, where, you know, where out there somewhere are you when you were watching this? And um, yeah, I, you know, I do get that question a lot. You're right. You're right. That guy there um, generates a lot of questions. So I want to just bring it out because it has to do with play and having allowing yourself to have play in your life, right? Allowing yourself to have your fun side shine through. I've been told enough times in my life, uh, and I don't even know where. I really don't. I mean, it has happened so many times. I probably brought this up more than once. Uh, I was told more than once that I needed to tone down my my humor, uh, tone down my energy. I was too much for some people. Uh, I actually was told literally. The reason I couldn't find um, um, guy, guys wouldn't date me um, in my life at one point was because I intimidated them because my wit was too strong. So, um, yeah, imagine that. My wit was too much. Holy moly. Anyhow, so when you're told that somewhere along the line, when you're told that you, you, you really shouldn't play around so much, you shouldn't be so goofy or playful, it, somehow it sticks in your mind that you're afraid to let go of, you know, your business sense, if you will, or your professional sense or uh, your adult sense, you know, and, and allow that play side to shine through because people will think that you're not serious or they'll think that you're uh, less than, um, I guess, less than qualified, I suppose is the word I'm looking for, but you, you lose credibility, you know, and it, let me just back this one up, folks. Let me just back this up for you, my friend. Your personality, if there's a fun side of you, you need to let that personality weave into your world. I know there's going to be a balance, I suppose, of how much you're, you might want to be, um, there are times, I suppose, as well, where you would let your, your humor just fly, because obviously uh, there would be certain times that are uh, very somber or uh, would require someone to be still and not to be fired up and, and, and just playful, but to allow that playful side to come through when you need it to is powerful it is where all your energy will come from. It, it, scientists have shown, whoever those scientists are, they've shown that having play actually sparks creativity and gives you new ideas and puts new uh, energy into your life. And if you have a propensity, big word for today, write it down, propensity. If you have a propensity to, uh, to be lighthearted and you're not allowed to do that, uh, whether it's your own self not allowing it, um, either way, it's stifling and it will cause you to have a blockage in your creativity and your expression. So why a moose? How did the moose come along and, and change the attitude? Uh, like I said before, let me know where you're listening in from. This is Nancy Lewis Hill, Lightened Up Entrepreneur. I took forever to tell you that because I figure you already know because you're here. But we're going to talk about that in this video here today, here tonight, here this day. Why a moose? The moose is there. If you don't know who he is, by the way, that would be Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle J. Moose. 
And uh, that comes from a, a cartoon. I guess I'm, I'm really throwing out the, the dated things tonight. I told you about the Marx Brothers, which I, I happen to like. And now I will throw you um, Bullwinkle. Why? Because the humor was actually, it was really intelligent. It was intelligent conversational humor. So the banter was great. And I grew up really enjoying intellectual humor. And fast forward that to me being a mom and having kids uh, that knew that I was goofing around and knew that I liked Bullwinkle. Thanks, Sherry. Thank you. Yeah, Sherry, she's watching from Supply, North Carolina. Hey, so good. Yeah, I do get that question a lot. And um, suppressing who you are is never really a good thing, in your opinion. Well, yeah, I'm with you. You and I are of the same opinion. Um, yeah, so going back, my kids knew that I, well, they knew my type of humor. They knew that I liked Bullwinkle. They knew that I enjoyed it. And so they wanted to surprise me one year and they thought they pulled it together and they bought me this guy, <laughs> this big old moose. And I have to tell you, it's really large. It is large. And uh, I remember when I saw it, um, I thought, you know what, it was really big and it never occurred to me that I shouldn't have it or that people will think something strange of me if I if I display it or whatever. So I immediately took it to my office and I made sure it was on my desk and it was front, you know, front and center and proud and all. And uh, every job I had uh, for quite some time, I brought the moose with me. It's Mr. Know-it-all. He's, uh, he's reading a book and um, that's his thing. Anyhow, uh, so with that, I just took it with me because he was fun. It reminded me of something that kept me lighthearted. It reminded me of the fact the way my children saw me was light, right? My children saw that I had a light side to me. My children saw that I was able to weave in being a parent and having humor going on and it wasn't a problem, right? So that I need to be reminded of this, that not to let this slip away, not to let this pack up and be shoved off uh, in a donation center because this this means something. This says to me when I look at it and I and it's in the the side of you. Often it reminds me that it's okay that people know that I have a good sense of humor, that I enjoy a good sense of humor, uh, and that I'm confident to, to allow my humor to shine. So why is that important? Because if you're going to be in a community anywhere right? You have to be able to be comfortable with letting who you are shine out. Otherwise, if you stifle it, people don't get to know you in that community, right? So you, when at that point, you're not really engaged. You're not really interacted. And I mean, when I say community, I mean a community in every sense of the word, you know, your neighborhood, your uh, clubs and organizations that you, uh, that you belong to or associate with. Once they know who you are, they know little things about you. Uh, you know, I, I know that uh, I know that Sherry likes tie dye. Uh, does she wear everything in the world tie dye? No. Uh, is her walls painted tie dye? No. <laughs> but there's something about tie dye that Sherry really likes. Am I right, Sherry? And so what that says to me is that now we, when I see tie dye, I think of Sherry. And if I start, find something very interesting and it has tie dye, I'm probably going to tell Sherry about it. So knowing that I have a bullwinkle here, you might think every time you see bullwinkle, you'll think of me. Or you might think, oh, she has such a really, she has a lighthearted sense of humor. Or, oh, she enjoys intellectual humor. She'll banter. But what that will do is that will connect me with other people in the community. Do you see that, how that works? It's now a connection. Whether or not we ever become close friends or tight friends, that's not the issue. It's the, I know this about you. I know that you have a, a, a black cat, or I know that you have this thing about you that's fun, or, you know, a stoic, whichever it may be. And uh, I hear tie-dye. See, that's my point. That is exactly my point, Ellen, right? It doesn't matter what we're talking about. You're like, oh, this must be this, you know? And Ellen, I have a few for you, but uh, yeah, I like the symbol. I think of things, 
there's a few things I think of with you. It's so good. I, it's funny. Interestingly, um, I know go tigers, right? It's like the LSU. I think about you for, uh, the football world, but I also, every time I think about New Orleans and parades, I'm always thinking about you. Uh, so it's, <clears throat> it's actually an interesting thing though, right? So when we allow ourselves to actually be seen, when we allow ourselves to have that fun side of us, when we allow that side of us that um, we we don't care that somebody uh, may or may not like it, or doesn't think that it's it's what it is, and it is you know it's part of your brand, right? In your sense, so it's part of uh, your brand is who you are, right? Your brand is you. It's how it is, and. You gotta let it fly. I have a very playful personality. I have, um, I like quick-witted banter. I enjoy it. I like engaging people in conversation. Uh, I, you know, and what's one of those things that I love to do is I love to create experiences for people um, to help facilitate an experience for people. It should really be how I want to say that, right? Um, and that's how it is. I just wanted to share it. So why the moose? That's why the moose, folks. It was a gift from my kids. And I think that they were just tickled pink because they, they saw a big stuffed bullwinkle and thought, oh, my gosh, my mom would love this. And uh, maybe some other people might have said, um, might have said, oh, well, yeah, she's too old. Don't get her a um, don't get that. Why don't you get her a, a necklace? <laughs> and I couldn't have been happier, honestly. And we're not talking about my children. This was not last year. Did I did I leave that part out? <laughs> this was not last year. This, honestly, I wish I could guess. I'm going to guess. It had to be a long way back. A long way. We're talking decades. But He's still here with me and I still take him places, uh, you know, like he's in my background. He's uh, on my shelf. So uh, it is more fun to be who you are than to try to fulfill some kind of a thing that you think you're supposed to be. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. If I have any questions for me, go ahead and shoot them out because uh, I am I am an open book tonight. Um, so parades remind you of Ellen as well. Uh huh. Yes. Isn't it funny? It's the um, you know, the whole uh, Good Friday, well, Fat Tuesday, all the events that you guys have. It's pretty cool um, being where you are. And, and oh, I just always think about you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but definitely, I, I'm, I'm gonna ruin it by saying go. But it's uh, it's can I type it? G. I love the way you do it. I'm going to put it in there, see if it shows up. It's going to show up in the, oh, there it is. Perfect. I wasn't sure if it would pop up and populate, but there you have it. Uh, so, yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know where you tuned in from. Let me know whether this resonated with you. Do you let your fun side come out? Do you allow yourself uh, some play in your life? Whatever that is, it doesn't, like, you're not me. I'm not pizza. You're not me. So be, the fact that you're not me means that you don't have to have the level of humor or playfulness or style as me. You have to have yours. But do you allow yourself to play? Do you allow yourself to have that space where maybe you have your bullwinkle? Uh, you know, quote unquote, you have your bullwinkle. Um, and, and what is it in your bullwinkle life that allows you to remember to play? Reminds you to go ahead and be silly and remind you to be go ahead and be a little kid. And I'm going to tell you, I brought it up, especially because we're heading into the holiday season at the time of this video. Um, and the whole holiday season can take you to uh, the feeling of playfulness as well. And uh, not that it was always a great holiday season for all of us, but uh, we are surrounded by the ideas uh, of perfect holidays, which that don't necessarily mean they existed. Find a way to play. Find a way to play. If it means watching a movie that just you're thinking to yourself, this movie has absolutely no redeeming value, then go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. If it means watching somebody be interviewed for an hour and 20 minutes, um, 
and it's nonsense and you just like, you know what? I just feel like doing this, go right ahead. Um, it is go, okay. It's pronounced like y'all say go. I'm an official LSU super fan. This is what I know about you. I know. You have the news, oh my goodness, you have the newspaper front page that says that you are an LSU super fan. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I knew you were, you always put the go Tigers. So, uh, so yeah. And that's your play space, right, Ellen? I mean, that's your place where you can like let go and just be all, all LSU and 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 cheering about it. And yeah, I love that. I love it. And uh, I don't know. I hope you never ever lose that energy. If you're watching this and you're saying to yourself, "I don't have that space. I don't have that playtime," it's not uncommon. It's not uncommon. That's not to say that you're running the mill, but it's not uncommon to not have that space where you feel comfortable playing. And I'm going to encourage you to tap into that, to find that little space that just says, this is my fun thing that I do. And it's silly and it's goofy. And um, I don't know if I want everybody to know about it. If that's fine. But you know what? Eventually, I'm going to encourage you to let that seep out a little bit. Let people see you playing, let people see you letting loose because that's actually where it's the most fun is when it does, you don't have to hide it. You don't have to put your Superman costume in the closet. Um, so not much to cheer about this year. Well, you know, I know, A, you can't be there in person, right? And B, it's just, oh, I know. Hey, Ellen, Wayne's still getting over the fact that Tom Brady went to Tampa. So which is a whole other thing, right? That's his his fun thing. But um, we always have last year, and it was special. Yes. I want to see that. You have to post a picture of that. See, this is what I'm talking about. Let people get to know you. And, and Ellen, you do. I'm not saying you don't, but oh, my gosh. Did you ever post a picture of that front page? The LSU super fan? Oh, my gosh. You should so do that. Uh, so I hope we get to parade sometime in the future. Uh, you may not in 2021. I know. So many things have changed. So many things were adjusted to. We will get through it. We will. I just want to remind you one more time to just go ahead and play. Go ahead and embrace that little piece inside of you. There's a little kid inside of you that still wants to play with something that somebody said you're too old for that now. And I'm going to encourage you to bring that side of you out. Um, so now you know a little bit about me. I enjoy the Mox Brothers. <laughs> I enjoy the fast-witted uh, fast dialogue between the Marx Brothers. And uh, I like the intelligent humor of Bullwinkle. Um, I love the ballet. And uh, you thought about... <laughs> You thought about Wayne when the Saints beat Brady. I'll have to let him know. <laughs> yeah, he said he was terrible. He was terrible. So, uh, so much for that. All right, y'all. Enough chit chat, patty whacking. We got to move on. But uh, I want to also invite you, uh, if you're watching this and you're intrigued and say, well, I'm not sure if I really don't know what this chick's all about. <laughs> and you want to know more, uh, I invite you to tune in tomorrow morning because we will be here tomorrow with Mornings with the Moose, this guy. Um, he's the mascot, the team mascot for Lighten Up with Miss Nancy, our group. And uh, we are typically in our group with the Mornings with the Moose Monday through Thursday. And then on Friday, we come out into the public. So we will be here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Uh let me know. I don't know. Let me know anything that was on your mind throughout this. Uh, if you know anybody else that you think would enjoy this uh, broadcast or broadcast like this, go ahead and let them know we're here. And go ahead and, uh, you know, let them know the name and where you found it. Don't be hiding it all. And uh, until I see you on the morrow, I think we'll have to just say, what do you think? I think, yes, he's in full agreement. I can tell. He doesn't say much, but we'll be back here next Thursday at 9.30 p.m. And I will uh, I will astound you with amazing pieces of information next week as well. So until then, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. Eastern. I know it's really early for the West Coasters, 
and some of the rest of you, but it's all right. Show up with your toothbrush in your face. It doesn't matter. Show up like in your worst possible way because you're not going to be on camera anyway. It's just tune in. It's like a morning wake up show. It'll make you be glad that you're leaving the house. <laughs> All right. So we'll see you. And if we don't see you tomorrow morning, we will see you here next Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. You're a blast. Adios, friends. Are you done? Quite done.